Welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm checking out the Germanium Eliminator from Missing Link Audio. And this Germanium version adds a bit more of that fuzzy quality to get after some of those classic Billy Gibbons sounds where you hear a lot more saturation. You could tell it's not just an amp cranked up. So let's see what this pedal can do. The Germanium Eliminator takes the original pedal to a fuzzier place while still retaining the high headroom cranked amp tones that the Rev has shown us since the 70s. At the heart of this hand-built pedal is a dual op-amp circuit. This simply gives you a tight distortion in the style of a 100-watt amp without having to wear earplugs. With so much touch sensitivity and cleanup, thanks to a high input impedance, Missing Link Audio suggests this to be an always-on pedal. The germanium diode clipping is responsible for adding fuzz-like qualities like a softer attack and extra overtones, which is perfect for giving those singing notes some extra grit. The Eliminator's gain offers a wide range of low boost to classic Gibbons saturation, where the pinch harmonics just jump out with ease. The tone control also allows you to revoice the overdrive without muddying up the sound, while the enormous output from this circuit gives you extra boost when you want to include overdrive from your amp. Missing Link Audio have been at it for a while with stomp boxes that nail so many signature sounds from Angus to the Allman Brothers. Check out the whole pedal lineup as well as pickups, amplifiers, and more at MLAPedals.com. Let's just start with all knobs at noon so you get a good idea of the you know, core voicing of this pedal. And then we could smooth things out, add a lot more gain, and really pump up the output. But this is a great starting point, and you'll notice it instantly takes you to that uh, real you know, kind of down and dirty uh, Texas tone. <laughs> Thank you. 
So even with the gain cranked, it's still a very tight sound, but you just get a little bit of that creaminess from the uh, germanium in there. And you know, I backed off on the tone control on the bridge, but let's just try backing off the tone because this tone circuit really allows you to explore the full range. It doesn't get very muddy when you back it off. So real creamy when you back off on the tone, but as you heard, it's still a very uh, clear sound with a lot of note definition. Let's try some lower gain sounds now, and I'm gonna keep the tone around uh, 11 o'clock, which is a nice sweet spot with these humbuckers. And I'm gonna use uh, a lot more output this time because this eliminator has plenty of it on tap. <laughs> So I think you're getting the picture. This is a very dynamic pedal, but it still has a thick sound across the whole spectrum. Let's try some single coils, and I really want to show you how this pedal cleans up with a guitar's volume knob. As uh, MLA says, it's one of those pedals you could just kind of have as your always on pedal and control everything just with a guitar's controls. <laughs> There you go, the germanium flavored eliminator, and you could certainly hear that extra fuzzy and warmer quality it added to the circuit. You could check out the standard eliminator, as well as a whole lot more, including pedals, speakers, and even pickups at mlapedals.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for another Andy demo.